Hi people, today I want to show you something really cool, something that uh, could be really interesting to people who are modeling stuff for uh, 3D printing. So this is just another picture of a 3D printed mini Joel, except this is not actually 3D printed. Uh, this, is an, this is a render and uh, Paul has made a bunch of those. He, he has made his benchy. Paul have extracted the tool parts from the slicer and he he did the, and then he brought it I think in, inside Blender and he just render, uh, rendered everything with, which, which kind of looks insane because if you're not really really paying attention this just looks as a normal picture of, of any 3D print. Like I, I've printed a bunch of those so I, I know all of these details are usually there. And, and, and it's crazy. So why am I talking about, about that? It's because uh, Prusa Slicer now has added that feature inside their slicer, inside their uh, beta version that you can get on GitHub. And um, I decided to, to test it out. So uh, I'm gonna show you some of the results and, and how to do it. And uh, this is, this is my new model that I'm working on. I was doing some test prints today and I got curious to see how, how it actually looks uh, rendered. So let's keep point two so we have more pronounced layers and I'm just gonna hit slice. So it, basically the, you do everything that, that you would normally do when you slice your model for 3D printing. Except now, instead of exporting G-code, you'll go into File, Export, and there's a new option, Export Tool Paths as OBJ. So, I'm gonna hit that. There, they'll test 02. And save it. And um, uh, now, what you need to do, you just need to bring it into any kind of uh, 3D software where, where you can uh, render your model. Uh, a lot of people are suggesting Blender because it's free. Uh, I don't use it, I, I don't know how to use it, so I'm gonna just uh, use Fusion uh, because um, I do a lot of rendering inside Fusion, I really like the, the render it has there. Uh, sometimes it takes much longer to, to load everything, but you can see the model is there, everything looks nice, it has all the layer lines, so what, what we need to do, we just need to go into render, we can we can first paint it, so modify, appearance, and yeah, let's, let's use this red. After that, click here, go to render, and this is how your model looks uh, before it's actually uh, rendered out, so I'm just gonna make this thing slightly brighter. I'm gonna click here and rotate this so you can see more of the lines. Yeah, like that. And I'm gonna press this thing. <clears throat> So um, it will take a few minutes to render everything, just be patient. But you can already see that uh, it looks really nice. The more you, you leave it, the, the better it's gonna get. You can also move this little triangle if you want to make it final or infinite. So it will try to render it over and over again in better quality until you just say, okay, that, that's it. One one really great thing for me as a modeler is is this. Uh, in a second you will see that there's some kind of hole in, in my model, which means that if I have decided to print this, I would invest let's say two hours, and and after that I would see these holes and my print would be ruined, which I actually did here. So. So this tool is, this option is really great if you just want to test your model, if you want to uh, save time, you know, not printing it and then discovering some mistakes. So it's 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 really useful thing to to have. 
and you can see it, it really looks nice, you can render this and just post it and a lot of people will not even notice that it's not 3D printed. So if, if you want to do multi-material version, you can do exactly the same thing, you can assign uh, colors, for example. So uh, in, in case of multi-material, fusion doesn't work, at least I haven't figured it out yet, uh, because uh, uh, this thing exports one OBJ with a separate material file, which Fusion for some reason is not reading and uh, it, it treats everything as a single object so I had to use Keyshot for that where I've applied the different textures and I'm not gonna show you that because it takes a lot of time I'm just gonna show you the result and this is it this actually looks like a real thing uh, except it has maybe a more noise here but you can see all the their lines, everything looks really great. Just, just look at this. So yeah, I really hope you guys have liked this video, that you have learned something. Uh, this is definitely a cool feature that people uh, who are in this kind of uh, line of work will use a lot uh, because it, it just saves time. We can we can quick, quickly slice the model, export it into some kind of uh, rendering software. Uh, apply a few textures and uh, render out everything and it's gonna take us much much less time than actually printing everything with potential failures then uh, go somewhere nice take a pictures uh, retouch those pictures and then up upload it on the internet it, it's it just saves time um, I'm not saying that it's gonna replace 3d printing because because you need to have actual physical object with you uh, but for, for just the purpose of presentation, this looks really nice. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you have liked this video, please hit the like button. If you have, haven't subscribed already and this thing is red for you, just press it. And also press the bell next to it so you can get notified whenever I'm releasing a new video. And if you have any kind of suggestions, comments, everything, just write me in the comments below. And I hope I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.